this video is about how to film your travel vlog. Hello Glammies and welcome back to House of Glam. I am your girl Jamie Ziegler and I am back and today's video was actually requested in a comment that was left in my Barcelona vlog. They wanted to know the steps like how do I vlog? They like how I put them together so I'm like okay let me put a video together for you guys to show you the steps on or just like a little checklist on how I create my travel vlog. I get so many questions on how to create content, how to plan content and how to film a travel vlog. So today is the day. I am here to share and give tea on making how to make vlogging days easier for you. It will become second nature. <sighs> To tell you the truth, I started making vlogs when I started getting lazy. This was like seven years ago. I would have my main channel content that I was trying to push out, push out all the time. And I just, I think I was doing two to three videos a week. I just was over it. Cause at that point I was still crossing over from PR and still like brand management was happening. I was working on three different reality shows, two on Bravo, one on E4. I think I was doing Love and Hip Hop as well. So I was working on four different reality shows. So it was kind of like I was up all the time. I wasn't necessarily remote a lot back then because I was going, I was working in the field more. So it was like, I'm going to all these green screens, sometimes three a day, back and forth, packages coming in, events happening. I had so much in the streets happening and in the field. I just was like, I don't have time to be up at one o'clock making a main channel video. It was cool, it was cute in the beginning. It's like, oh my God, I'm up. Let me just make a video. I have lights, I have a camera, let's do this. Because you gotta understand with Bravo, like Married to Medicine, in the beginning, never filmed at the same times as Real Housewives of Atlanta. So sometimes when they'd have a delay in figuring out what Mar Married to Medicine was doing, trying to find a time slot, trying to figure out contracts and when to begin, do we cancel? Like, what do we do with Married to Medicine? It pushed back. All of a sudden, there's seasons where I'm working for people with Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine at the same time. And then I started working with three different individuals on a show that was on the E! Network. I was all over the place. So yeah, two people on Housewives, one person on Married to Medicine, Mariah Hutt. Hello. And then three people on the E! Channel, so it, uh, the E! Network. So it just was like, let me just vlog this. Let me do step by step of what is happening. My first person that I worked with, I had got them into. To New York Fashion Week. They went and walked the runway. <laughs> runway. They walked the runway on one of the episodes that they were in. He's already got focus. Hold on, Jenny. Hello. 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 What are you doing? I'm not dealing with my mama child. I don't yes. never get to go. Yeah. What news? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They want you to be one of the teacher models. <laughs> they have a party and it's really cute. That is so big. Those are all moments that I was like, let me capture this. That is how I became to vlog. It was really more of a lazy situation. It was really me just showing what I do every day. I don't wanna seem like I'm talking to myself. I made it outside, I can actually talk out here. So yes, I am here with Mariah as Isla Mariah. We are here today for a green screen from Married to Medicine season six. Because you know, I, you have to think of it, of a lot of the how-to videos that I would do that took a lot more time to prepare. I had to write treatment for it, no bullet points on what I wanna say. Like, you know, you're producing something different when you're dealing with main channel videos than when you are are just vlogging. But to be real, like the past seven years of my life has actually been boring. Me vlogging, y'all don't wanna see me on the computer all day long. Like my travel vlog, when I do get those two trips in in the year, I have squeezed in possibly Christmas or New Year's. And then I always have my birthday, even if it's just one day or two days. This last year it was two days. But either way it goes, me traveling on personal time does not really happen a lot. So when I do get to do that, you 
actually see me doing more, going to restaurants, seeing the city, the country, exploring. Other than that, when you guys see me travel, I'm traveling for work. Like uh, Jamaica, Mexico, New York, California. Like a lot of the places that I go, 95% of the places that I go, it's for work. Just to be truthful, I think you guys seem to think that I'm there to have fun. And you know, don't get it twisted. A lot of people are like, oh, well, that's not work. That's fun. It's like, no, I'm there working. Like I would not have gone to Tennessee that day if it wasn't for work. Like I'm not just let me go to Tennessee or let me go to New York. Let me go to, to Alabama. Well, hello, Glammies. It is Friday, July 21st. And I am currently in Qatar and it's 7.56 p.m. Even if it's in a wonderful country, it's I'm there for work. Majority of the time when I'm in Africa is for work. I've gone, I think, three times to Africa and it's not work. But other than that, no, I am working. Now, I do find time. I will wake up early in vlog. Good morning. So I woke up, well, really, let me start with today is Friday. I woke up at Nope. Yesterday I woke up at 7. Today I woke up at 5 o'clock. I do not know why I keep waking up so early. So now I got myself together and dressed. I'm going to a meeting. So if I don't have to start working till 10, you're going to catch me up at 5 o'clock. But I'm up at that time anyway. So yeah, I'm working. Anyway, let me get back on track. All of that is a story for later. That, that's another chatty video because I just got real chatty with y'all real quick. But yeah, that's when I got into filming and editing vlogs on the regular. Editing vlogs has allowed me to explore more when it comes to different editing techniques. I can use the vlog content to try out different tricks. But I do want to start off by saying with the vlogging content, you do not have to have a fancy camera. These new phones come well equipped with what you need. I've actually found it easier to use my phone when traveling, especially when I'm going to places that are really hot and humid. Like I don't want to have to deal with, oh, my camera is fogging up and all of that. Dubai, um, I think the last three times I've gone, every time, like it's just going to fog up. I just use my phone. And then when you are put in situations like that, it does allow you to come into being creative with the new gadget. You don't use your phone. Well, I don't use my phone all the time for pictures because I always have a camera with me, but it allows me to get to know my phone better. I have come up with some great pictures when I am stuck using my phone and video content. So how do I plan out and film my travel vlog? So let's start with if you plan on capturing content with your phone Here is what I would suggest to pack a charger a charger port a plug adapter a mini tripod and tripod a mini light the mini light is perfect when taking pictures or selfies in a restaurant dark lit places when you're probably like in Mexico somewhere trying to walk the beach real quick or the trail before you get to your resort's restaurant. Like when it's dark and dim, that selfie light comes in handy. Even when you are in Uber, talking about your next step, like this is where we're headed, this is what we're doing. I also like to pack a larger light for beauty. Your looks of the day or just to have when you're chilling in the room, you know. Depending on the resort or hotel that you're staying at, sometimes the lights are like, a mood kind of yellow you know and it's not that they can't afford the lights like that's the mood they're trying to set so if you want to film and be able to see and do all of that you either need to pack a larger light or you could put the little mini light on top of your camera or attach it to your phone situation i like to bring a larger light do i have an example of one i don't i'm using it right now I've got three lights that I'm using. Let me show you. This panel light, I have two panel lights and I have a spotlight happening. The panel light I find to be easy to lay in your luggage. It goes in the carry-on and the tripod folds up nice and short. I started taking that with me. But you know, they have the GVM lights that are smaller. Like all of this stuff, I will have linked below. The GVM, I am an affiliate. That is also linked below, but I have a thousand GVM lights. I do recommend them. They have different moods. They have party settings. They have colors. They have all of that. Oh, there is a color behind me. 
it's kind of yellow but um yeah no i do suggest the gvm lights over anything i will have everything linked below with my amazon store when traveling on the personal trips i have learned to pack light because I, I i realized back in the day i used to pack it all and never use any of it especially when those drones used to be huge i had a huge drone got a backpack just for it like it's it's just all unnecessary at this day and age nowadays i'd rather pack more outfits than equipment because the more equipment that you pack to go through tsa you will be stopped like my camera and a, a few lenses that i will pack i will have a camera bag put that in my cam carry on and have my laptop in a case on my carry-on so all i have to do is just snatch those two things out and set it down when you leave that camera bag or whatever in the carry-on and push it through it's so much happening from your cords your battery packs camera your hard drives like they're just gonna stop it anyway and check it so i've learned to just have a bag for that take it out take out my laptop and then tends to be smooth sailing okay so on to when i'm actually packing my camera i pack one camera two lenses I i'm down to this is my personal trip now i'm down to two lenses main lights plug you know, like the little surge plug, a mini tripod, and a little hand tripod. And if you do not want to bring or pack a larger tripod, you can just use the tripod that you use for your light as your camera tripod and just put a little mount on top of it so you can swivel your camera how you want to. I've also learned how to take the correct bags. This goes for when you're traveling with your camera phone and with your camera. Since I am always working, the mini backpacks come in handy so much uh i've learned to get those so i can the mini backpacks you can pack probably up to three lenses plus the lens that's on your cameras but no probably two lenses plus the lens that's on your camera a mini tripod um backup batteries sim cards all of that i find that to be so much easier i have found a few little mini hip packs that will fit a vlogging camera as long as it can fit in there and then i can also fit another lens in there with that it's about when i'm shopping now i'm always shopping for work let it be for shoes for doc martens tennis shoes Uggs, things that I can work in and still be cute in is the same mindset you want to have when you're purchasing like your new purses, trendy purses and, and things, especially if you're taking this serious, creating content and this is what you do. You want to still be able to move around normally and then still be cute, but then have everything that you need. Let me get an example. Okay. So like whew, this MCM bag, it's a harder as you see, a little harder leather. I like it when it's a harder leather. It doesn't have everything moving and hitting each other. I feel a little safer with my lenses in these type of backpacks, but this is the perfect size. See how it fits on my body. I could fit, yeah, I could fit two cameras in here and four lenses and a little mini tripod. Not gonna stuff it like that, but if need be, and I don't wanna have bags and bags of stuff, use something like this. I found this little coach bag. It is not that hard leather it's a little softer but it's smaller things are not going to move around like that it's just enough to fit one camera maybe a little mini tripod that's all you need you're not really you're you're taking it with you to get what you need real quick small enough and it's a softer leather doesn't have to be hard but it's it still protects it where it's not like moving around so much mom got me this this coach mickey bag this fits a vlogging camera and another 50 millimeter lens or vlogging camera and the mini tripod so this comes in handy you can strap it around you like this move about and no one even has to know what's going on in there you know everybody gets discouraged when it comes to vlogging because it's noticeable then i started getting larger clutches where this will fit a mini tripod and a little i mean a mini camera and a little light and off to dinner we go so there's ways to disguise what you're doing and to be cute now 95 percent of the time like i mentioned when i'm traveling it is for work those two lists that i just described for beginners or just content creators but when i'm going for work and and having to film and create for others it's like you multiply that times two you have an extra bag you check you know it's it's more of a process than the list that i described but those two lists that i just described to you like 
like it's simple it's easy to pack all of that can go in your carry-on and really especially if you're just using your phone you don't need all of that a phone and a light if it's in your budget if not wait till the sun is out get by the window go outside and show the people the pool don't show the pool at night i'm usually the one creating the activity list when i travel with friends so it makes it a lot easier for me to have to map out what it is that i want to vlog when i'm on my trip i personally don't like to film the whole time i'm on a, a trip because like i said i get <laughs> maybe five days a year to do something i don't want to be filming in front of everybody all day and i'm not like ooh, take 300 pictures of me until i get it right like if i'm blinking if i'm sleep if i'm whatever in in, in a group shot post it I don't care. I don't need to be the hundredth person that's in that group shot that's like, no, fix me. Like, leave it. Who cares? I'm not here to be doing all of that. I'm here to make it easy, do it, and then be done. I think the people personally that take 300 selfies it's a more of a mental thing because i get some people have to take pictures and content when they're out for brands but even then i'm not about to be sitting here taking 100 pictures having to choose from it because out of 300 pictures only four of them are going to be good no take that quick and keep it moving so to make sure that you can enjoy your trip and capture content i have created a checklist this is a shoot day checklist number one you need an intro Start every day with a hello and what you have planned for the day. And then you might show your outfit of the day. You might actually show for the first time what you have packed for the trip. Stretch it out for about three to five minutes of what is going on in your room, what is going on with you and what you're about to do for the day and say hello. Then after that, in your video, do a little checklist of what you are about to do. You can either talk about what you're about to do that day for the full day, or talk about what is going to happen for the full trip since that is the beginning of, hey, this is what's going on. Talk about your checklist. A lot of people tend to talk about what they're going to do that day because that allows them to be able to stretch out their vlog. You know, some people break up a travel vlog into two different videos, whatever the case may be. People want to know what you're doing, where you're going. You start with that at the beginning of your day. So that is number two, your checklist of the day. Number three, you have to document. So basically everything you said in your checklist or everything you said before you left home about what you're doing in your trip people are expecting to see that in your vlog they want to see it they don't necessarily need you to talk them step by step through it some of it can be talking some of it can be b-roll but they want to see you document it they don't want to know that you are about to go to tulum and celebrate a birthday and you get to tulum and you show a room tour and we don't even see the birthday they want to know that what you just told us we are about to see and you must also make sure you, that you close the vlog at the end of every day. I say have an intro and an outro because depending on how you film, you may need it. You can never go back to Tulum and film your intro and outro. So just get it. Even if you don't use it, you might want it to just pop up with graphics and say day two. Film it, you might want it, you might not. It just gives you creative opportunity. You have it, it's in safekeeping. I say do it. Number four, film what is necessary. This is why the checklist is important. In order for me to enjoy the little trips that I can take over vlogging, will screw up that whole thing. It will be in the way the people around me are like, oh my God, can I eat yet? Did you get it? Like you want a hundred pictures of the food. The food just came out. People are starving. Like, no, do it on the slide, get it done. And then sit down and chill because over vlogging equals overworking in my mind. Like this is work. Like even if your job is to travel and vlog, you do not want it to feel like work because that's when you start to get burnout. out. That's when it's not fun anymore. And that's when you don't want to do it. Capturing a lot of b roll is like a real quick and easy way to keep the vlog flowing and when you capture that that's easy like I was just leaving my room and walking down the hall before I went to the restaurant that's quick and easy put the thing away and then enjoy your, your dinner and the b-roll the quick and easy b-roll actually lets the viewer get to enjoy what it is that you see like we're watching in real time with you like it feels like it it's not just your face and it's like oh my gosh this is that's the water. <laughs> that is the food. We want to see the espresso martini. We want to see all of that. Now, if you want to show yourself in B-roll, waking up in the bed and opening the curtains and then going and brushing your teeth. Side note, I'm personally over the fake vlogs. Like, did you really wake up 
eight hours later and your camera's still rolling. Like I I don't know why people aren't just waking up in the bed, grabbing their camera on their phone and just like show here, <laughs> throat and all. I just woke up. Like I don't want to see the camera on the other side of the room and you getting out the bed, stretching and then opening the curtains. Like I'm over that. But personal that's just my personal opinion depending on your vlogging and editing style what works for you works for you room tours when it comes to room tours there are a few different ways that you can tackle this situation you can hold the camera yourself and point and shoot you can have a travel buddy film you like knock on the door and you open the door and you're like hello come on in you can do it that way or you can just film the room and then edit it with a voiceover like I said we're back to personal preference your editing style and you know how you want your vlog to look number five now that you have packed your content equipment you made it to your destination and your checklist is ready now it is time to have fun Fun. Don't make your trip all about vlogging, even if vlogging is your job. Set up your checklist in a way so you can still enjoy. You're spending money. Or even if it's for free, like you may never go to that location, destination ever again in life. So get just enough to stretch the content and have fun. That's what I say. I found a quote to end this off. It's by Mae West. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't stress about it. Deal with your checklist. You got this. You got this. You can do it right. And you can't go wrong. If you don't like it, just don't put it in the edit. Don't sit there and stress and make your whole trip about that one angle and that one shot and then that fake walk to the bathroom and out the bed. Like, we're over those days, okay? Give this video a thumbs up. Sign up for my notifications if you would like some more tips and tricks and how to's on creating this content here in this social media world. As always, you can ask me questions below. I am here for you. Until next time, see you later. Bye.